Hey guys, in this second video on chord progression theory, I wanted to show you what happens when music doesn't follow the default uh, theory and what it should be. Um, what I mean by that is this, when chords one, four, and five, which are normally by default major, are not major, chords two, three, six, which are supposed to be minor by default, are not minor. And where chord seven, by default, supposed to be diminished, is not diminished. Because one of the beautiful things about music is it's both a science and an art. And so there are these rules and defaults of what it should be. But music is so much like, you know, bigger than just following, you know, that little kind of formula that it can actually go outside of it and it totally works and then sometimes it works even better. So what I wanted to do in this video is show you some dem examples of what those would be and how they would be indicated and how to understand it, okay? So for example, let me just draw a line here. So there are times when you would run into, let's say, a four chord that is not major but is minor or you'd run into a two chord, which by default is minor, but it's not minor, it's major. And this seven chord, which is by default supposed to be a diminished chord, sometimes it's not a diminished, sometimes it's a minor chord. And what would happen? So the way you would indicate that in using the number system and reading charts would be easy. If anything is out of default, you would ha have to write something after the number. So for example, if a four is minor rather than the default major, you would just write a four and a little m after. So that would tell you that that four is a minor chord rather than a major. A two, which by default is minor, if it's a major chord, you would write a big M after, which will tell you that that two is not the default chord, it's a major chord. And this seven here, which is by default a diminished, if it's a minor, you would just write a little M. And that would tell you that um, instead of a diminished chords, which is the default, you would play it as a minor chord. Now, so one of the things is when you analyze a chord chart with this kind of number system on it, I'm just going to write some examples of chords here. Let's say the chords went like 1, 6, 5, 4, uh, 1, 5, 4, four minor. Let's say that's the progression. So when you look at this, whenever you just see a number, you know it follows the default. But whenever you see something behind the number, like in this example, this 4M, that tells you it's not your typical uh, defaulted chord. It's four minor. Now let me show you how you would find that. It would be exactly the same as in the last video, you would pick a key. So let's say we're going to pick the key of A. Uh, okay, I'm going to go here. Now you should know this by now. You remember the formula is root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And uh, so the key A is 1 because the root is always 1. And from there, you would count up two steps, which is a whole step. B would be two. Three would be a whole step away, which would be C sharp or D flat. Four is a half, so that's a D. Five is a whole step, which would be an E. Six is a whole step, which would be an F sharp or G flat. Remember, we're not going to be talking about uh, the correct one there because they're both the same note, just two different names. Seven would be a whole step away, which would be a G sharp or A flat. And then 
there would be a half note to complete this uh, this scale, which would take you back to one. So one through seven. So in the key of A, for example, if you were to run into a four M, all you would have to do is see what four lands on, which is a D. And instead of being a D major, which four chords are by default the major, it would be a D minor. So four minor is D minor. Now this is only in the key of A. Two major in the key of A would be this two. B, by default, which is a minor chord, it would now be a B major, just like that. Seven minor, seven typically by default would be G sharp diminished, but because this is out of the default, it would be G sharp minor. So that's how that works. Um, any of these numbers can be major, minor, diminished, or seventh, or augmented. I mean, they could just be anything, and that's kind of the whole complexity of music. But the good thing is there is a, a standard default way that, you know, that especially worship music, the modern stuff, uh, they, they pretty much follow this rule. Maybe once in a while you'll get a chord that's out. And, uh, but whenever they are, you will see the numbers indicated by something else, which will give you an immediate ha-ha that something is a little fishy. And all you have to do is follow this kind of rule to find this out to figure out what chords that are, that, that it, it is. Um, then the next video, we're going to actually talk about one more component of this uh, chord progression theory which is talking about the five notes that are not represented here.